Raptors. Why would they cheer for? Oh, we're already debating right now, friends. Yes, oh, he is one of the most iconic players to put on a Raptor, Toronto Raptors Raptors. jersey, known for his heart and hustle and for being the leader of the pound. Please welcome the junkyard dog, Jerome. Yeah. 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 yes, there he is. Get the dog pound running. Wow, yeah. just flew Straight in. Straight from, from the airport, flew yeah. in from home from Vegas, and Come right on. here, stuck in traffic. We love it. You came straight here. First to BT. Thank you so much for joining us. Man. Welcome yeah. home. Had to come to BT, man. This is it. I really appreciate it and uh, very excited. This is a this is an awesome time for Raptor fans and the the whole community of Canada at large. We're so excited for the Raptors. You're rocking the Raptor purple. Yeah, <laughs> I, brought, I brought back the old the school. Old, you know, you're missing something though. No, no I, see, I have a headband. No, yeah. I'm gonna pop it out tonight. That's uh, my game time. Game time only. Yeah, my warrior it. look. Yeah. High socks. <laughs> Got to ask you. Just want to go back for a second. That game seven, Philadelphia. What were you thinking when that happened? After what happened with Philly the last time? You know, when I saw the shot go in with Kawhi, it just brought back all the memories of Vince missing the three pointer fadeaway um, on the baseline, and then and and just just seeing it was just like, man, this is great. It, it, they'll be able to hang on to this for the rest of their lives. When you heard about this, that they finally made it this far, and of course, you were here for what, three seasons? Does it feel like home and still very much part of you oh, when you absolutely. land in Toronto? Every so, look, by the time, as soon as I get on the plane and the airport, all the Toronto fans, you're going back to Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and, it, and the, the moment I get here, you know, I, I was telling my daughter on the way, and I said, look how much has changed. I said, every time we come back, there's another tower up. True. Yeah. You know, there's another, <laughs> there's another condo building, and you know, uh, that that's something Something that you know we miss, and that's why I keep coming back. Well, you it. can come back anytime. Toronto, anytime. Toronto is home for you because your your daughter was born here as yes. well. She's, that's right. She's, that's right. Canadian. Canadian. Yeah. She's like, I'm so tired. Look at <laughs> oh, she gonna make some TV. Yeah. Get some TV time. She's Daddy. so beautiful. <laughs> 17 years young. What a beautiful young woman. And here she is back now celebrating with you, her papa, proud papa. This amazing, momentous, historical moment, which yes. is what it is. Yes. You know, a lot of people will compare the newer Raptors to the guys of old and a lot of people compare someone like Siakam to you mm. and that energy when you look at him do you see some of that I that, love that Spicy pound. P's yeah. game <laughs> he needs to get some dog pound barking behind yeah. him because <laughs> he hustles he's um, all over the court he plays defense offense he brings a, a, a level of energy and he's you know one of the key pieces to the team I just I just love his uh, his tenacity you know, being able to come up with big plays and uh, a lot of key blocks in the, in the series so far and defensive to now. So I, I really, um, you know, see a lot of us, mm. the old school in, in this team. Speaking of barking, people are barking at Drake. Yeah. As we know, he is the true ambassador, always has been. And they've been a subtly, gently asking him to tone down his courtside antics. Do you think this should be a thing or should Drake be Drake? Well, it, it is. There's different levels to, you know, what fans should and should not do. <laughs> and, and this is JYD speaking. He, and he has, you know, he has, you know, edged on that line of over the top. Okay. But you know, the whole thing is, you know, as a fan, you want him to be in the moment, but just uh, you got to make sure you ha you have to also respect some of the boundaries. Um, I think more or less for the other team mm -hmm. than for our team because, you know, you can rouse up the other team. And that's the thing that, you know, even for Toronto fans, we want to make sure he doesn't step outside that box because if I'm a player on the other team mm -hmm. and he starts to get a little too much, then that could motivate me. Yeah. And that's what you don't want. Oh, for you don't you want any extra us. motivation because right. you know that. Then it's them against Drake versus yeah. them yeah. against the Raptors. And you saw that. And that's what you don't. Do you see Golden State? Drake, right. right. Do you see Golden State being vulnerable? I mean, they've been there five times. This is their fifth time in the finals. Are, is this the chance that uh, somebody can unseat them? Well, you know what? Uh, the champions are are never vulnerable. They can just be complacent. Mm -hmm. And that complacency complacency can sometimes uh, cause. You know, because we've been there before, we feel like we can always overcome overconfidence is what I call it. So I think that, you know, the Raptors have a great chance when you make it this far. No one can count anybody out. Yeah. And the heart of the champion is always going to be tough to overcome. But that's what dreams are made of.
It's time yeah, to make history. Much dreaming right now. Make history. Who do you think is the most key player for the Raptors in this series? Is it Kawhi or is it some, uh, you know, another role player maybe? Well, I think it's really Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry is, um, you know, he's been the unsung hero. I remember key rebounds in the first series. Uh, you know, really coming up with, with game-winning plays, game-winning assists, and moments uh, that, you know, don't really get the accolades of a fadeaway jump shot, but at the same time, you know, bounce pass down low, you know, to, to, to Mr. Ibaka, and, and really just sending the game over the top, you know, could have went in for a layup, but you know what? No, I'm going to give it to Kawhi for this dunk. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those are the kind of moments that just, you know, just, I think, really set the tone for this team, and they feed off his leadership. I, ha I have to ask, 48 states are cheering for the Raptors. Yeah. That's right. There are two that aren't. California, understandable, yeah, right. and, Nevada. and Nevada. Explain yourself, please. I will. <laughs> but, but, Explain but yourself you, but, you did, but you did miss one. Yeah. Hawaii. There's oh, was Hawaii? Yeah. 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 You didn't see that little... Uh, yeah. Yes. Little so, bit. Yeah. I can explain this, right? <laughs> explain it. It's so hot in Nevada that they just can't Think understand <laughs> what's happening they up in the process. north. I try to explain it to them, but they just, they don't get it yet because <laughs> it's the desert. That's all they've known. That's all they'll ever know. That's right. But after this championship run, they'll get to know us. <laughs> so one thing about JYD, you've always been about the fans. You've been about the kids. You're still doing that. Quickly tell us about uh, your latest uh, is it the big three? Yes. Tell me about this. It's the this. big three, but we're doing the Young Three young Academy. Young Three Academy, because yes. Because there's so many kids all across Canada and throughout the world, for that matter, who never get the opportunity to, you know, interact or be coached by a professional athlete. So came up with the idea and the concept, real-time coaching, and some great, great uh, technology with RealWare to be able to bring this to the homes, to the playgrounds, to the neighborhoods of kids uh, and make it affordable. So we're very excited because the top 100 uh, kids that sign up, it's only $25. That's wow. amazing. Nice. Yeah, and you get the personal yeah. tutelage of the dog pound himself. <laughs> yes, cool. looking That's up, you're going to hear some much. noise courtside tonight. Yep. What's it going to sound like?